Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. You guys know I answer every message, every DM, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube comments. I read every single one of them. So recently I was in Colorado. Right now when I'm filming this, that was two weeks ago. I took an antelope and a bison on the same day. Those videos of those hunts are up incredible time fantastic week out there in colorado but i already did an an antelope or some of y'all call it a prong horn cooking video where i showed all the meat but so many people asking about the bison I haven't cooked any of it yet well actually i take that back i did cook some of it we had some bison chili the other night, and it was fantastic. Even the kids ate all of it. it tasted really, really good. If, if we didn't tell you that it was bison, you would know. But on the bison hunt, the three main questions that everybody's asking me is, what boo lights did you use on that hunt? What bing bang? Which, of course, you could watch the actual video and find out. But And then number three how much meat did you get off of that? So let me answer those first two real quick with a highlight from that actual video. We used a CVA Scout in 35 Whalen and then the Remington Core Locked Boo Lights. Let me show you real quick. Check out this footage of me sighting it in here, checking the groups. And looks like it's still a shade low and right. So let me come up. This uh, stuff isn't exactly the cheapest stuff, so I'm trying to use not a whole ton, but this is serious business chasing buffalo if we want to have it dead on. And let me send another one. That was a good squeeze. And we're right there in the bullseye. I'm going to go ahead and take one more just to verify. Right yep. Shoot him. Good. Boom. There you go. But, hey, that 35 had plenty of horsepower. To drop that bison as you guys just saw in the footage but we're here to talk about the meat so first let me show you how this meat showed up on my porch five big old boxes and the funny thing was i was actually in montana deer hunting when this stuff showed up on my porch i called my wife and said i'll oh, just leave it there and then i'll get it that i should be home the next day well Long story short, uh, my dad helped my wife take care of all that, so appreciate him. But how much meat did we get off that bison? So, bison, obviously like anything else, there's big ones and smaller ones. The big ones can get over 1,000 pounds, 1,200 pounds, and sometimes even more. I don't know the standing weight of the one that I took. But I think the butcher told me, hanging weight in the freezer, so after the hair's gone, the head's gone, the gut's gone, the tail's gone, all that. Just the meat hanging in the freezer was 500 some pounds, I think almost 600 pounds. I think she might have told me 595 hanging weight. The actual meat we got off of that thing is in this freezer right here. That's why I'm standing here leaned up on this freezer. 295 pounds of meat off of that bison. If you go after a bison, you're going to need an entire new freezer. So, what's the size of this one? Uh, I have no idea, but let me spin it around and just show you what it looks like. 
<clears throat> so here's this freezer. It's about ooh, five and a half feet tall, probably. And you can see what it looks like. Well, and then here's all the meat. So, this is 300 pounds of bison. This entire freezer, this is all burger. Ground bison. This entire back of this is all uh, hamburger. That's all burger. And then the doors over here, we got the steaks. So, we got top sirloin steaks up there. What we got down here? Buffalo ribeyes, buffalo fillets. Oh, doggy. Then down here, we got some roasts. Ask me how much meat you get off a of bison. Well, you get a whole freezer, five and a half foot tall of burger, and then a whole door full of steaks. And yeah, pretty much steaks and a couple drawers of roast down there. So that answers all three of those questions. Bison, 35 Whalen. Hey, that dropped a hammer on them. Remington Core Locks and a five and a half foot tall stand up freezer holding 300 pounds of meat. But stay tuned. We're going to have some cooking videos up as soon as I can. Actually, I'll probably take some of these and defrost them right now. That way we can get them cooking and have a video on it but hey we're going to be cooking some buffalo burgers if y'all have a bison recipe shoot it over to me so we can use your recipe in a video but hey that answers all three of those questions like i said y'all know i answer every message test me on it in every video description there's an instagram link and my facebook link click those send me a message say hey man i want to see if you actually respond like you always say you do i guarantee you i'll message you back but hey, appreciate y'all watching. Stay tuned for a whole lot more videos. We got so many videos coming on the way that I'm super, super excited about. Truly, truly appreciate y'all. We got the best viewers on the interwebs. But that answers those three bison questions. How much meat did you get? What'd you use on that, baby? But hey, appreciate y'all watching. We'll see you on the next one. <laughs>